All right, here's the synopsis of how we fix this. Stainless steel screws in a perfect alignment on the joists. Use a countersink bit that will accept a plug. Um, first put the screws in. After the wood has dried out, first put the screws in. Then let it dry again. Let the sun really react to it. Let the tension of these screws try to pull the boards down. This line of planks has to be replaced right there. We need a 16 footer. And elsewhere in the job, we're gonna need some, but it's really not as bad. This is the worst area. This is the worst area. I'd like to go after the worst area first, and then we'll do the rest. The rest of this is not really so dreadful, but it does all need to be fastened. Um, some of this fascia we'd be better off just changing because nothing, no amount of anything is going to fix that. Change that board. Eek. These are considered unsightly seam edges. Not the end of the world if we change those. I can see the screw heads. Um, we're buying planks anyhow, so yes, those can, those need to be replaced. And it's, it's more labor intensive to try and sand and finish that than it is to replace them. Who knows, maybe even that material could be used elsewhere. Um, yeah, like fixing these doors. This woodwork would be well served with uh, a sanding and then sealing. We'll fix this door. No big deal. It needs to go on a base of plywood in the back to hold it tight. Um, what else? Oh, and the railings downstairs. All right, so the first thing is the most serious. Here's another board. That's, that's going to have to be replaced. Overall, we should be prepared for buying like 10 16-foot planks for fixing this kind of stuff and boards boards that are just going to be too much trouble to try to fix. Uh, yeah. Start off with our test area. Especially these two. This wouldn't be a bad test area. This would not be a best, bad test area at all, this landing. I could see the effect it's going to have right there. This is already crumbled off. Maybe this will be our test area. Um... Then we have a bunch of railing. This is very straightforward. Just This has a surface film of polyurethane. It really needed to have a penetrating oil because that's the only thing that you use outdoors that doesn't end up looking like this. You need penetrating oil. This is a surface a film building, surface treatment, and it's basically no bueno. Oh, and it goes down into the garden here. This is not a difficult repair. That's just a standard sanding and finish. That's just standard sanding and finishing. Gets a little precarious standing over here, though. Same with this. How do you stand over there and do that? I guess you need a ladder. Let's see. What's this feel like? Can you reach over it? Yeah. You could reach over and run your sanding machine here. You can stay on this side of the railing. Gorgeous railing. I mean, really, really, really gorgeous. I love it. Tight as a drum. Really gorgeous. Oh, what an awesome sanctuary back here. Sand all of these handrails. I wouldn't mind doing a test area on this to see how time and labor intensive that is so I could give a proper price. Really super cool. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a joy to make this look awesome. All right. First things first. The most serious issue is doing our test area. 